back again. The Night Show. How's the Saints again? It's me, Javi, your host. Um, I am here today with a member of the kiddos. Unfortunately, not everybody was able to come. However, we do have a special guest. He is a very cool guy, very nice guitarist, has just outgoing, good vibes, especially when it comes to performing on stage and everything. You know, always hypes up everybody, always has a lot of energy. Um, of course, you know, Saint left me alone. Uh, so I'm doing this all by myself. He just basically just pulled up, gave him the stuff, just went in. So this is not even House of Saints. This is Saint in the house. <laughs> but, <laughs> for, yeah, I keep getting downgraded. But anyways, I would like to introduce you to Kiko. What's up, beautiful people on the screens around the world? I'm Kiko. What it do, what it do. It's your boy from the screw. Um, Yeah. What's up? What's Thanks up? Thanks for having me on. First nah, off, damn me up, bro. Damn me, me up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we out here. I appreciate you coming. You know, we had we kind of had to like finally plans made out of the group chat. Yeah, <laughs> like bro, like <laughs> he, okay, we flaked. He flaked on us, and then we flaked on him, and then this time I was like, we can't flake. I gotta, I gotta show up. Yeah. So, shout out my dogs doing work in the field. Caesar, Joseph, I see you out there. They're just, they're just, they're, I mean, they're doing civilian stuff. They're not like. Doing ratchet stuff. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking hit the link, just dot dot. <laughs> it's <laughs> done. Wire the money to my bank now. <laughs> fucking throw that shit out. But yeah, but yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, I gotta give it to y'all. The night show is actually filmed that night, by the way. So it is filmed that night. Well, it is after hours. Indeed, nighttime. We're like at two a.m. in the morning. Not even just like what, like eight at night. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. So, um, moving forward with that, you know, again, I appreciate you coming along. Yeah. So. Tell me about the kiddos. Kiddos, you are part of the kiddos. You are not your typical band. You're a boy band, but not your typical boy band that dances and everything. You're an indie boy band band that plays instruments, but you're <laughs> also very outgoing, also trying to perform in the shows as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm like one third of the kiddos. Um, so the term like boy band, I really wanted to like uh, flip the script on like what a boy band really is because you listen to our music, especially like our latest music, um, your future's now streaming out, streaming everywhere. But if you listen to that, it's like it's not hardcore to be hardcore, but it's not like pop to be pop. We're like somewhere in the middle trying to find like our like your niche or like kind of not, yeah. not the niche, but like trying to find that right sound, right? In a yeah. way. And a lot of it is like boy band, um, yeah, we just like to experiment, even like with our style, with our sound. Because you think of band, you think of all right, you got your dudes, they're in dirty chucks, like dressed in black oh. and all this stuff. The hell? What happened? We're gonna see if there's a call or not. Hold on. That was weird. Okay, let's go ahead and start that again. So, uh, boy band thing. Yeah. So, hold on and go. So, yeah, like, boy band, we really wanted to, like, flip the script on that. Because, like, you think of band, you think of, like, you know, dudes in, like, dirty shoes, like, wearing black, playing, like, some heavy stuff. But then you think of boy band, you think of, like, the most poppiest, like, everyone in formation kind of dancing. So, we really, we like the, bu the we like both worlds. So, we're trying to bend the best of both worlds. So, kind of like Hannah genre Montana. <laughs> oh, what? I said they're trying to get the best of both worlds. Shout out Hannah Montana, but uh, yeah. So it's like genre bending. It's like it's it's a lot of the new and the old kind of blended together. So okay, okay. So yeah. kind of like retro in a way, old but cool in a way. Yes, we yeah, pretty yeah. I guess retro and also futuristic. You know, because now everybody's like, oh, the future is going to suck. But we want to take it back to a time where we thought the future was like bright and pretty. Like, so. like how like, fuck, like how like people thought like, oh, like what was it like? Um, what's that movie with fucking 2012? Like, no, what? No, no, uh, no, no. Uh, back, back to the future type shit. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Like we take a lot of like 80s influences, like um, like some of our earlier stuff, especially like music for nighttime. It's really like Smith's police inspired. Um that 80s like rock kind of sound i guess like yeah so kind of like disco with like all like 80s like talking about like disco and all that shit or a little bit yeah i mean yeah a lot of our dance elements come from like disco i know like caesar and joseph they grew up on like that motown sound 
you know, from their grandparents and stuff. So a lot of it's in there. I feel like, yeah. I'm kind of cold, so sorry if I'm like, if you hear my teeth oh, going. To be fair, we do have the fans. I don't know why we have the fans. I on. mean, it's cool. Like, I, I love my fans. You love your fans. You love <laughs> your fans. I love my fans. But yeah. Yeah. So continue with like the music. Uh, Your Future Is Now is out. Yes. Your EP, your latest EP is out. Yes. And honestly, my favorite song from there is Bear. Really? That, that, that's a really, like, really like, kind of like chill type of song. Yeah, um, Bear was, so basically I wrote the main guitar part because uh, I was listening to this song by Bearface, I don't know if you know who that is, he was I a member of Brockhampton, he was like, really okay, yeah, I know, nice about, I, know, I know who Brockhampton is, I kind of know who Brockhampton is, not really, I have some knowledge of it. I, I basically like ripped them off, I'm not gonna lie, but a lot of their stuff <laughs> I take and I make it my own, but uh, yeah, he had this song, um, I forgot, I was like this random like fan made EP on YouTube. And I just kinda like I really like the vibe of it. So we kinda took I took that I don't sing on it by the way, uh, that's Caesar, but I took that guitar and then from that guitar, um we really wanted to make something like cinematic, like I'm talking about I had it in my head that uh, a scene where a dude's like stabbed, he's like bleeding out in the rain. And that song's just like playing in the background as yeah. he's like <laughs> trying to like cross way to safety or something. So, I mean, Bear, I mean, you got to listen to the song and get Caesar's interpretation. But that's kind of where I was coming from making that. Song. That was like your point of view, where like you're trying to aim for the song. Yeah, like a movie scene, like a really down bad, down horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was like your point of view of aiming towards that song, right? Yeah, something like cinematic, like something that really hooks you in, especially like towards like the bridge of it. It gets all like super wonky to the point where it's not even like music anymore. It's really like abstract sound and a lot of um like Sonic Youth, like they're really good on like developing like an atmosphere, like a wall of sound type of feel. And I feel like we wanted to sort of reach that to where you're like, okay, we're kind of like on your toes, like, where is this track going? How are they going to land this plane? And we do it by um, acapelling, like, Caesar's vocals to where, yeah, it sounds like a movie score, <laughs> basically. Like, yeah, the titles will want to roll up at the end. And then it leads into Common Club, which is, like, a nice little, like, breather. Like, oh, okay, we're still alive. We're still cool. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Like, it's just, like, 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 get, like, get, like, that energy back up. Yeah, it's, like, back up, but... Almost like you're not the same as you were before you listened to no, it. No, like well, of course when you had uh, uh the the opening is a uh, sugar rush, right? Um, your future is now. Your future now, okay. The opening, yeah. And yeah. Then from there it goes to sugar rush. Yeah. And then bear, so where it's kind of like, kind of like, well, not, not mellows it, but kind of like just kind of just calms it down a little bit, in a way. Yeah. And then cool, and goes to comic club where like you back up and not like not like mosh pit type shit. <laughs> yeah. So like, the whole EP is a story basically. So. The first, like, well, especially the EP version. We got two versions of your features now, the radio edit and then the regular version. So the regular version, um, it's like a minute, I want to say a minute of just, like, orchestral, digital sounds. It's it's really beautiful. Oh, I mean, I think it's beautiful. Caesar wrote pretty much all of that. So it's almost like a reflection and kind of like a driving to the scene, like to the party, I guess. And then Sugar Rush is the actual party. Sugar Rush is like bumping. It's like early two thousands, um, early two thousands kind of like pop punky alternative like jump electronic sounds in mm-hmm. it. And then Bear is like almost like the not the climax, but like the big event, the thing that happens. We're like, oh snap, we need to take a step back. And then Comic Club is kind of like a reflection of it. And each of us have like our own little inputs on it so I, when i sing sugar rush it's kind of like me saying like i'm different now you know i'm not sure i was we were kind of talking about it how i get these like random bursts of energy at like 3 a.m so if you see if you follow me on instagram or you follow the band on instagram and you're like why is he posting at 3 a.m it's because i get these random bursts of energy so sure i wasn't i wasn't always like that and sugar rush is kind of like me saying like you like you letting it out. Like, you like, letting it out. Like man, we're gonna do this. We're gonna kill this. And your future is now is like, it, it also ties into that too. Where it's like your future. Like no one's gonna wait 
no one's gonna do this for you. Like you gotta go. Uh, out like like your features now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like you ever watched PBS like back in the oh, day, yeah. where he's like, "You sitting on the couch all day, anyways. Get up the phone, call right now, like get your feet oh, started." Oh, <laughs> yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like that vibe, and then Bear is like the, is like the oh my god, like what did we just do? Like I've survived so much, like this is destined. Like I really want my dream, and then Comic Club is that for me? It's like my version of Bear, where it's like I'm self reflecting on what. I kind of went through all my trials and tribulations mm-hmm. that happened uh, while we were making this in like 2023. So yeah, if you know, you know. But you know how it goes. <laughs> For and with the futures now, of course, House of Saints, Saint uh, helped w- produce it, right? Film it. He he helped film it. Film it. Yeah, that was really fun. Um, you did it in downtown. You recorded it in downtown, right? Some of it, yeah. So um, yeah, the music video it's out on our YouTube. Check it out. Um, the kiddos official music on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so Saint, I saw um, he did this thing called Patient Six, and I really fell in love with it. I was like, and work at that point in time, I was like kind of cool with Saint, kind of not. I was like, he probably thinks I'm a scrub or something. So I was like, I was, I was shoot your shoot your shot, King. So I was like, hey yo, you want to help us film a music video? He's like, yeah, I'm down. So our schedule is linked, and then um. Yeah, we shot some of it in downtown, and then we shot it like almost like an '80s workout video. I saw <laughs> with so, uh, Natalie. Yeah, so shout out Natalie. Shout out if you're watching. Thank you. Um, yeah. So your features now. Um, again, it's, it's that theme of like you got to get up and make it happen. So a lot of that comes down to like working out. Like, um, what is it called? Uh, it's gonna come to me later. But anyway, so like. Like you keeping up, keeping yourself in shape and keeping yourself busy and working on your goals, like staying on top of it. You know, mm-hmm. the grind, being yeah. in your bag. That's kind of what the song is about. So we wanted to a music video to kind of represent that more like colorfully. Like, oh, yeah. Like I saw like, a whole bunch of colors. <laughs> yeah. Because the, so- the I mean, the song itself is like all like it's it's like hard. You know what I mean? Mm. So we wanted to something to balance it out. So working out was perfect. And we value working out, too, like. Um, last year, me and Caesar lost like a whole bunch of weight. <laughs> yeah, I'm mentioning that. I saw how like recently you hit. Well, I saw the post that you did last year, and it's already made a year from there. Because I remember how you told us from like your year progress, or from when you went from like 183. Yeah. To <laughs> what, what? What was it to like one? I think 140 something, maybe 150. Like- I think. I'm still in that range, but it's like a little bit more lean. But yeah, so me and Caesar were on that workout train. It's just, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Like if you know, you know. But it's like a whole bunch of stuff that happened in 2022. Like a lot. Of, we only put out one song last year because of a lot of delays. We had you know family members pass. We had a whole bunch of trials and tribulations. So your future is now is kind of like that. All right, we need to hit it. We need to get back into it and all mm-hmm. this stuff. So getting in shape was like the first thing, you know. So. Yeah, and then working out and stuff. It was like a good balance, and it was really fun to make. And yeah, and I had a lot of fun. So shout out, thank you, Natalia. Yeah, shout out to Natalia. Shout out to House of Saints as well. Shout out to Saint for helping recording it. Yeah, shout out Saint. He was shout, a- shout out to everyone. <laughs> shout out everybody. Shout out whoever watched it. But no, yeah, he was a really cool dude, and he was like, "Yeah, I'll record it for you." And um, he got it done so quick. Like I, it was like less than a week. It was. We shot it. We left, and like a week later, he's like, "All right, um, we can post this now if you want." I'm like, "Whoa, chill. We still got, we still got like promoted and all this." But I'm yeah, like, yeah, wow. I saw, I saw y'all promoted so for like, like for like a not a like whole, a long time for like for like there was like a lot of promotions for yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, it's already done. Might as well get people hyped for it. Yeah. You know? So and it came out pretty good, to be honest. Thank it you. came out really yeah. good. So shout out Saint. Yeah. I think last time I saw it, had what like almost 400 views. Yeah, around it's floating around there. Hopefully, run them numbers up. Hey, yeah, you know run, what I'm saying? Run them up. Subscribe to me. Run them numbers up. But and speaking of with the music video, of course, your um music video. Well, actually, your first, I believe, your first EP, Drip, has <laughs> right. Is that his first one, right? Yeah. Your, so your first one. one. This is January seventh of twenty twenty. This yeah. will be January twenty twenty four. It's Jeez. gonna be that's a four year anniversary from Drip. <laughs> It's funny, yeah. Dude, yeah, Drip, okay. Drip was like, 
it was a story in itself. So Drip was like, so many things went wrong to record it. We made a whole bunch of songs and we picked out the best three. And even those three, like we were, we were looking for drummers. A lot of drummers flaked and whatever. We were looking for producers. Producers flaked. Our schedules didn't line up. This and that. This was like 2019. We're, it was going to be released in like 2019. But anyway, so 2020. And then what's funny is um, drip was like a big word like back in 2019, 2020. Oh, yeah. it, it still is, but like drip was like heavy. Like, bro, he's got that drip on. Like, like what you got right now with them goggles <laughs> and everything with that fit? Bro, my fit, my Jordans, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still dripping four years later. <laughs> still dripping. But yeah, like. So we just we called it the EP code name Drip. I don't know why we called it code like as if we had fans already like that wanted to leak us. <laughs> we just called it code name Drip, and then we just call, kept calling. And then come time to name the EP, we're just like let's just keep it Drip. Like that's funny. Like Vacations had a EP called Vibes, so I was like if they can do Vibes, we can do Drip. So <laughs> we're like why not? We put out Drip, and then um that was really fun to make. Um shout out Adam, he produced it. Um. And then, so that EP comes out, and then the pandemic happens. So it's like, what do we do? Oh, that's when everything <laughs> came to a halt. We're so, it sucks because we're like, we have everything. We've got the drummer. We've got the shows lined up. we got the original music. Let's go out and let's have a good summer, and then boom. So we, we just switched. We just started making videos, and that's when I really started to get into, like, YouTube. Mm -hmm. and, like, vlogging. Vlogging, making my own. Uh, so shout out Joseph. Joseph, our bassist, you're watching. He edited a lot of the early videos. Um, he edited the uh, the first three music videos we were put out: Fever Rocket, Ice Cream Headaches, Toy Gun, on our YouTube. And then my cousin, I didn't even do the vlogs at first. My cousin Vanessa, shout out Vanessa Hernandez, she did uh, a lot of the early vlogs too. So, but yeah, drip, 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 drip. <laughs> <laughs> it's real drippy, yeah. And with your first EP, of course, you know you had a code name. But also with names, why kiddos? Why like like the kiddos? Like was kiddos the first thing to like? Actually, hold on. With the origin of the kiddos, who came like like what were y'all like all in the friend group or like one like so uh two of you were friends and then someone one of one of them joined or like just tell me about the origin of the kiddos. Oh, uh, the kiddos are a gang. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, yo, <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of a gang affiliation now. Hold on. <laughs> um. Well, Caesar and Joseph are cousins, so off the bat, they're like blood. And then um, I didn't get jumped in until no, just kidding. But I met Caesar in choir. We're both in choir. Hold up. <laughs> Shit, hold on. Uh, hold on. We we'll right back. We're we'll taking right a back. break. We're taking a quick little break. Hold on. Hold I got to take an appointment phone call. Hello. Sorry about that. I had to take an appointment phone call. Um, Saint threatening me to you know to do a better job. If not, <laughs> I'm gonna get uh fired. And uh, possibly get taken away from or get kicked out of the Saints. Um, I don't want any of that. So can you please, you know, uh, watch our watch our content, please. Smash that like button. Smash that like button in the <laughs> subscribe. Oh my god! If gosh. this gets 10k likes, I'll uh, I'll do whatever you want me to do. No, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> the internet's crazy. Either. Hey, yeah, but uh, continuing. Something. So uh, as we're talking about with the origin of the kiddos, yeah. Caesar and Joseph are cousins. Yeah, so they're blood related. And then uh, I met Caesar in choir. So shout out Clint Forest Choir, Miss Anna Skirmahorn, uh, Candy Pool. Those are my directors. But anyways, we met, we met in choir, and we were both tenor ones, which is like the highest a male, the highest male group can sing. I guess mm. that's like tenor one, tenor two, baritone, bass two. So yeah, we're up there, and then um. Yeah, we're just chill. Like, we're just friends. And music was always in the background. Like, we would always be like, hey, did you hear that new Drake album? Or did you hear that new, you know, whatever album? So, and we're always, like, sending each other, like, memes and, like, um, albums and music and stuff. And we were just friends. Like, I would just be at his house just to be at his house. Like, just to play, like, PlayStation and all that stuff. And, like, eat his dad's food. And oh, yeah. Back when times were a lot more simpler? <laughs> Yeah, like, it was just, like, we're just chilling. Like, we're just bros, for real. And then um, well, he took me to L.A. Because he, he has family in L.A. And he took me out there. And it was eye-opening, you know? Like, because we were both, we both had, like, similar visions of music. Like, I was in other bands in high school. Like, I was playing bass. I was really bad. So, shout out. Yeah, actually, don't shout them out. Don't, don't find me. Do not find high school 
videos of me playing bass. But yeah, I was really like bad, but I always wanted to like perform. Like I love entertaining, like acting, modeling. I really loved all that. So LA, that was like, I was just a sponge soaking it in. And he had his own goals too of like performing and singing. And he grew up in the choir too. So yeah, so we kind of came together. We're like, well, I got a guitar because I had sold everything except this guitar. And he was like, well, I have a piano. And he had a piano because of choir. So we just kind of made it happen. Literally, like just a guitar to an amp and then a piano just with the built-in speakers. You know, like the beginner ones. Oh, I know what you're talking about. That's exactly what we started with. And we just, that's how we made drip and melody and color and everything else. So yeah, Honestly, hey, you got to start somewhere, to be honest. Yeah. You really got to start somewhere. Yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, here comes my boss. We got a special guest. Yeah, we got a, spe- we got a special guest here. In the behind the scenes. In the garage, in the flesh. In the garage of saints. Hey, yo. Mr. Saint himself. Give it up, everybody. Ooh. Big dog out here. Yo. Yes, sir. We watching. <laughs> yes. Hey, <yo. laughs> 10K likes. I'll show it on screen. I'll hey, yo. I about YouTube. Cut nah. the cameras. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Hey, on our Patreon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Patreon? Hey, yo, hold on. <laughs> But continue with uh, L.A. Yeah, we were really inspired by, like, L.A. and the the scene out there. So we just started to do our own stuff. And little by little, um, we came out there. And then um, when we came back, we threw our first show. And it was absolutely – can I cuss on here, actually? Uh, I mean – It was an absolute, like, shit show, dude. Our first show was, like, horrendous. Like, I just wanted to end my shit that night. I was like, dude – I, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I mean, I mean, to be fair, it is your first show. You rank, you can't really expect like much from it, of course. Yeah. You know, it, it's your first, it, your first official show ever, right? Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean. Shout that, out, Kleinbrook. <laughs> la verga. <laughs> Shout out, Kleinbrook Clubhouse. We had our first show there, and like only um our family, like ten of our family members went, like three of our friends went. And it, we promoted it so heavy with our, like, 20 followers on Instagram. <laughs> so all we had was, like, drums, my guitar, and then his uh, keyboard. And it was it was pretty bad. Oh, Joseph was in the picture? He wasn't even – he was in the audience. Oh, shit. And his mom was like, hey, like, he, you know, he plays a little bit. And he literally, like, never touched a bass in his life. And he was just like – uh yeah, I guess I'll join. I guess or whatever. You know, like what? he was he, he was um he's the youngest in the group, so he was like in seventh or eighth grade maybe. And he you was, were in. We we're already like graduated. <laughs> we're what? Already, he's like um yeah he's the youngest. He's like I don't know. He, you forgot his age. I forgot. He's <laughs> he's really young. He's, Wait, he's so taken you, though. So by that time you already graduated, right? Yeah. Oh, well, when was it? This? Was my first year in college. Your second year? I don't know. It's all so blurry. when did you graduate? In 17. So this was fuck? like So you older than me. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. I'm an <laughs> old man. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, so he was just like, yeah, I'll play for you. So we started, like, doing stuff. And then um, he's a really good bassist. Like, he just picked it up, like, a natural. And now like, it's, like, as if like, it was, like, like if it was nothing. Yeah, like, he took lessons from his dad, like, maybe one or two because his dad was in a band. But after that, he just, like, ran off and started learning music. So, And then we just all kind of came together and wrote our own stuff. And then we always just write our stuff, and we rely on drummers at the end because we just, like, have a bad, like, reputation with drummers, I guess, because they join, they play their part, they play, like, two shows, and then they, like, dip, either for family, for jobs, to move away. So I don't know. But we're still kicking. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're looking for a drummer or a drummer looking for a band, I mean, yeah, hit me up, DM, comment. Probably there's no other bad reputations with that. <laughs> I mean, like I'm, I mean, we're, I mean, I'm, y'all doing good. Like literally, like the recent show that we went, what was it? It was with uh the Bugs and different Chris. Oh, it was o- at um OG Man, eighteen cent OG Man. Yeah, you had HP. <laughs> you had your computer. Yeah, shout out. What does HP even stand for? <laughs> like, HP uh-huh. laptop. We made. We got on Fruity Loops and we made beats and we just ran it in the back and just, you know. I mean, either way, it was it was it was good though. We plugged it in, and then we just you know. And you 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 did your show. We just did our thing. So, yeah, like fake it till you make it, right? Like I think that's part of the boy band thing I was talking about. Like we like to add in elements of that, and we're like, okay, well, let's just full on boy band send it. You know, let's wear matching stuff. Let's wear like, you know, let's. 
put lights on our amps. Let's like go. Full yeah, I see on that you it. have for for your guitar. What actually? What guitar do you have? It's like a, it's a Frankenstein. So it's a, the body is like a twenty dollar like bullet strat I bought off of my friend. Shout out Amanda Valdieso if she's watching this. Um, I bought the guitar from her, and then uh, I just picked it apart. So the pickups are two Tex Mex, uh, no Texas Specials. For the bridge and for the neck, and then for the middle is like one Tex Mex, and then the neck is from Amazon. It's like a forty dollar like glossy. I don't know. It was really pretty. <laughs> and then um the tuners are the Fender locking tuners, the little like spinny ones. Oh yeah. So I got that, and then um yeah, and then the paint job I did it. Yeah, it's I don't know how to make it glossy again, and I feel like it's too late. It's like ah, it's already my aesthetic. I yeah, guess. Yeah, fuck so. it. Like why not? Yeah, it's, so. it's, it's, it's a it's like it's an iconic one for you since you know it's like literally. Is it, is it your only guitar? I have another one. Um, a lot of the earlier stuff, the first three EPs especially, were recorded on a Jazzmaster, the uh, Jay Mascus signature ones with the yeah, it's like the pearl white one. So a lot of that was on there, and then that was like my first like big boy like real guitar. The other one was like a crappy like. Amazon at like fifty dollar like oh like the a neck guitar. is all like warped and God stuff damn. it has a lot of stickers and yeah so I mean it is what it is but you gotta start somewhere but yeah I've got I've got and then I got like some acoustics too and then I have a lot of pedals <laughs> shit man I'm trying to get me some and oh you know uh, I've seen you perform live and I think th- the first time we ever met or the kiddos in total with all three of you was at Warehouse Live. That was my first time meeting yes, you sir. guys and you opened for Legacy. Yes, sir. Shout out Legacy, Antoine. I see y'all. For everybody over there, y'all. MG. MG, Bugs. Bugs. Bug suckers. Jake and Chris. I see y'all. But, Shout out to all of them. But yeah, that was my first time actually meeting y'all. And y'all are like, when I saw y'all, y'all did a cover of uh, GTA. You, you yeah, did a GTA cover. The lady. Uh, I forgot the name of the guy who sings it, but when I goes, lady, hear me tonight. Yeah. Because we're like, that's again, that's that boy band thing we're trying to do. We're like, how do we make, we've got our songs that everybody knows. And then we're all like, well, mainly like Joseph and Caesar, they play a lot of video games. So they're Mm -hmm. like, let's just do like something off GTA. Like everybody knows GTA. Like, yeah, okay. And then, you know, the guitar was super easy. And then the lyrics were super easy. The drums was easy. So like, yeah, let's just make it like, let's just turn Turn into a nightclub. Let's just start dancing. So and I, I, everybody, everybody got like, oh, like oh shit, like yeah. You know, this is the. I was, I was trying to figure out like what what song you talking about. And once you play, I'm like, oh. Oh yeah, I made like a little intro, and then I just seen, dude. I was for that whole show. I had like sunglasses on. Well, I took them off later, but I had sunglasses on. I did not want to see the crowd. I was so nervous. Like it was like a sea full of people, and then like when I took them off, and we did that song. I just seen like heads. Like, just bounce like that. I was like, dude, I instantly got goosebumps. So, that was a wonderful night. So, shout out House of Saints for inviting us. And uh, that was really fun. Yeah, that really made my year of 2023. So. Yes, sir. And yeah. that's that's not – this is that's the biggest you've performed, right? There um, – Because I know – because you did mention how you performed at um, House of Blues, but, like, the, the small part, the, the downstairs, right? The foundation room. So, it's like – yeah, it's like the upstairs, like, VIP lounge. But what really helped was that night, 311 was going to play there. So, like, the pregame, I guess, was, yeah. like, at that foundation room. So, a lot of, like, 311 fans were, like, there. And I think, actually, Saint took some photos, yeah, there, too, back in the day. At the, uh, at the whenever they performed the House of Blues. House of Blues took photos. Yeah. Yeah. So... Which honestly, I didn't even know there was like another like another part of House of Blues. I only, I only know like the very big one. There's there. another one called the Peacock Room, and I, it's somewhere up there too. But yeah, we. I mean, one day we'll play all every room there. Hopefully, but even the big one too. Even the downstairs, everywhere, so everywhere. Fuck yeah! That was a big show. Warehouse Live was a big show. South by Southwest was a big show. Numbers was a big show. Yeah, we. And then did you put recently? I want. I don't know if y'all did it so far or if y'all did it already, but um, last concert cafe. Yeah, uh, no, we had to cancel. Oh it. right, y'all canceled it. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, so first I lost my voice. Um, that whole day, well, that whole week, I was just like, damn. Like I was, I was literally like gobbling all these like throat. What are they called? The little like halls. I was just like, eating oh, them. pinches, dude. Cough was, drops. Cough drops. I was burning my tongue with tea. Like, I was like, dude, I need my voice to get better. I need my voice to get better. 
it never did. So that was one thing. And then Joseph, he uh, he he got in an accident. Oh fuck! And he was just like really shooken up. Like you know how it is. Like yeah. you just don't want to do anything. So, and then Caesar had his own things going on. So we're like, dude, like we could play. And it was like raining cats and dogs. Like it was literally like f- like a tornado out there. Like it was flooded. <laughs> God damn! I don't think flooded. I was there. It was like it was like outside of our. Uh, Cause we met, we met up at Caesar's house, and outside the street was already the water was already coming up, and I was like, "Dude, wait a second, was it, was this like December first? Oh, okay, that's why we were in L.A. when that happened. Yeah, y'all were in Sunnyside. <laughs> yeah, LA. yeah, we were in L.A. for that shit. <laughs> we're dripping and drowning out here. Hey, H Town till I drown. Shout out the city, Drip City, Houston. <laughs> no, Literally, <laughs> Drip. Yo, go stream Drip. I got. But yeah, I was like, we, none of us were in the mood to do it. So we're like, we could play this show, but it's pro- we're it's probably gonna be cheeks, you know? Yeah, and then they, like the whole rain and everything just kind of just destroys it. Yeah, so our all of our mood was down. We're like, we we can't. And you know, shout out. Um, I forgot who we played with. I'm so sorry. But whoever we played with, they had a good show. I saw like the videos the next day. I was like, okay, well at least they had like a pretty decent turnout. So. And on stage. Have you ever had like a really embarrassing moment? Yes. Please tell. Please, please do tell. I've had several. I've. I mean, but like, but like the one is like stuck in your head. You're like, oh. I've like, forgotten lyrics. I've messed up solos. I've messed up the one that comes to mind. Oh my god! It was uh, at Acadia. We were playing with our last days, tough on Fridays, in Erosy Band, and we were playing to the the electronic drums, the HP, and I was just like fucking it up <laughs> like how bad because it's like it's it's one thing i like i don't want to blame it all on sound but the tracks were really low and my guitar was really high so it was like it was oh you conflicting. really couldn't hear well so i lowered my guitar down but then i was self-conscious I was like dude can they even hear my guitar so i was like running back and forth and i was fucking it up and like it was a pretty packed place and my mom was there and oh and i had, I had some friends pull up too and like I'm like, dude, why am I messing up my own songs? Like I know these songs like the back of my hand, but I was just like cramping up. My wrist was cramping. My voice was like doing that uh, uh, thing. <laughs> so I was like, you went to puberty again? Yeah, basically I was like, dude, I'm I'm fucking up. And like I we got off the stage, you know, everyone cheered, whatever. I was like, y'all awesome liars. And then I put my stuff in my car. I was literally sitting in my car and I just drove off. I didn't even go back inside the the place. I was like, I am too embarrassed. To show my face. It was just so embarrassing. But, I mean, you, not all shows are going to be 10 out of 10. But that night, I was like, dude. And we were talking with the bands. And we are talking. We are like, hype gassing ourselves up. Yeah. Like, yeah, we played. Like, because they were coming from Austin. I'm like, ooh, this Austin band. What are they going to tell us? Like, yeah, we played here. We toured here. We toured with so-and-so. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, we did. did, did, did yada, yada. And I guess that's what I get. I, that truly humbled me that night. <laughs> oh, you got hella. You got, <laughs> got humbled got real humbled. bad. Yeah, I was like, dude, I, I couldn't. I like it was so bad. I sent my friends the twelve dollars they paid to like come in. I gave it to them back. I was like, dude, that you refunded it. Yeah, that's how bad I was like. I yeah, definitely a core memory, canon event, whatever the kids are calling it these days. Yeah, yeah. And so far, your best moment on stage with all three. That's a lot. <laughs> um, really, like all or like of them? biggest accomplishment. Biggest accomplishment with all three on stage. Oh, just in general, actually. Biggest accomplishment, all three. Honestly, Futures now? yeah, futures now. Cause one, it's future electronic sounds that we're going for, but it's also like part of us in the back. And honestly, like all of our, e- I'm always amazed at everything we drop. So yeah, I feel like every drop is like my biggest accomplishment. So far, you've only done EPs, right? With uh, as of kiddos, EPs. yeah, EPs and two singles. We did Apple Tree in My World. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. And has there been a talks for an album? Of course, you know, Features Now is already out and everything. You know, freshly new. You, of course, you know, you want that to play out, play the songs on there for the shows. Yeah. But as far as an album, album, um, I don't know. You, you you don't have to say it is. You don't have to say anything. You can tease it. All, all on you. All right. As part as the kiddos, well, you also had to keep account with everybody else. <laughs> uh, what C- can you say? Caesar and Joseph, cover your ears right now. What but can you say? We're working on new music for sure. We're always doing that. We're always we're sending each other drafts, and we're always like working. But um, there might I, there's like a seventy five percent chance there's gonna be a volume two of your futures now. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, 
Will it have more songs? I don't know. Will it be a full length album? I don't know. That's still up in the air because we're still making it. So depending on that, where that goes, but albums are just really hard, you know, because like everyone's focused on the singles and like the EPs, like the three to four songs. Unless like you're like a major like you're like Drake or something or like oh yeah Taylor I mean, Swift or with something. with that you know it takes a lot of time because you have to build think up. of the the chords think of the lyrics and everything put how many songs put it in order yeah the production of it as well because I remember how I saw on the podcast I think it was HTX if I'm correct where um where like not gonna be in a rush but like schedules and everything and then the music ended up being in the wrong key oh yeah Comic Club there you uh, go. Dude, Comic Club was such a pain in the ass because it was like it was a, the drums were a sample because we we're like, you know, because our drummer at the time he was like in and out like we didn't have time to wait on him so we like cooked cooked up the sample real quick and then um we like made everything and I guess I don't, uh, the Adam shout out Adam but um he was like trying to explain to us how if you switch it from one software to another software to another like laptop somewhere else like the the frequencies shift, so it like pitched up and it pitched down. So when he, our producer, got the the stems, it was like all like wonky, and then he had to send it back to us. So it was like basically playing catch with like a track and like a bunch of like little tracks to try to fill in one song. And I was like, bruh. So God damn. It was, a, and then I'll add on top of that, we had a EP release party June seventeenth, and this was a week before, and the tracks were still <laughs> like. Like you ever seen that uh, like that episode of SpongeBob where he's like my name and then like his brain like all this shit's going haywire. Like, that's exactly how we were. We're like we're up to like four a.m. like just sending stuff and then me I overthink, so I'm like, dude, does this lyric sound cool? People understand this lyric, so I'm over here like just writing bars and like singing just it trying over. Trying to fit in everything. Yeah, you just can. like singing it. We rewritten that song like three or four times, but I'm happy when it came out. It's one of my favorite songs ever. So Comic Club. By the kiddos, go stream it. But yeah, it was pretty dope. And any more projects or anything that you can probably tell us or tell the people that are watching what is in what is in store? What is for the future of the kiddos? Because the future is now, but what is the what? future for the kiddos? Um, new music for sure. Music videos. Um, we're always doing vlogs. If you want to be in a vlog, just hit me up. Always doing Instagram stuff. But and yeah. you are doing a music video, which should be out by this time this is out. Maybe. For Sugar Rush. Either yeah. it's already dropped or it is going to get dropped. So if not, if it is, if it isn't, just go uh, subscribe to us, The Kiddos Official Music on YouTube. Um, and then at The Kiddos underscore music on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. So, And then, uh, yeah, so just keep updated on that when the music video comes out or if it's out. And yeah. Oh, shit. I know. Again. Continue. Um, yeah, so if it... Yeah, just keep an eye out for everything we do. We're always posting vlogs. Come to the next show. We're always trying to, like, do bigger and better shows. I think this year we're going to be more selective. So last year you had the chance to see us for, like, 10 bucks, But this year you're going to have to pay some $300, $400 Hey, yo, us. God damn. Oh, <laughs> fuck. That's right. Better get some, like, fucking VIP shit or fucking poster merch or some shit. I mean, who knows? Who knows? But, right. yeah. Well, one last thing to tell for the people at home, for anybody who's trying to be a musician, anybody trying to do vlogs, anybody trying to start a band, anything, what inspiring words can you tell to the people to help motivate them or inspire them? You can go ahead and tell the audience. I've practiced this question so many times in the mirror, but I'm drawing a blank right now. But just put it out. Listen, your first song or whatever, it may or may not be like a masterpiece. You know, you could possibly put out the next Bohemian Rhapsody or you could put out the next like Garbaggio trash track. But as long as you're honest and you put it out like and you like speak your truth to it, like it's going to go far. It's going to resonate with people because, I mean, AI is, you know, I don't know where AI is going or if it's taking over or if it has already taken over. But you just spit your truth. You know what I mean? Like if it's you, it's you. You are unique. Put yourself on the track. And people are going to hear it and resonate it. And if, yeah, I mean, it may sound corny to some people, but not everybody likes the same thing. And so people are complex like that. Like, people, like bend genres, explore sounds, and then also, like, be friendly with people. Like, literally, I was just, like, friendly with people, and not, now I'm talking to Javi and Saint. Like, 
I was literally just like doing me and just like, hey, you want to be on a vlog? Like, it's just simple as that. Like, just be, uh, kind of get out of your shell a little bit. You know, that's how it goes in showbiz and music industry. But like, yeah, just, you know, just be friendly and just work on like, not what you can offer them, but like, how can y'all like come together? You know what I mean? So, and that's what we're trying to do with the Sugar Rush music video. Like, I'm trying to bring a lot of creative minds together. So, yeah. So, social, spit your truth and. Keep on keeping on and do the do do. do. <laughs> well, tell us where people can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at the kiddos underscore music on TikTok at the kiddos underscore music. The kiddos official music on YouTube. Uh, your future's now on Spotify, Apple, Bandcamp, SoundCloud. If you want to follow me personally, at o z k a r underscore k i k o and um. And then you can just find me in Houston if you want, like at the shows. We're always posting about shows. Um, find me in Northside Houston, Northside Baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, yeah. Check him out. Oscar <laughs> Kiko from the kiddos. Yeah. Check us out with yeah. all of our other projects. Cherry Potter, Graveyard Shift, Nice Show. More projects coming soon. A lot of stuff coming, all yeah. right? House of Saints, Instagram, follow. Real.